Imagine stepping onto a train that never actually stops at the stations, yet somehow, you can still get on or off safely. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? Maybe it's the kind of technology you'd expect in Star Trek or Back to the Future, but not in real life. And yet, here in China, engineers are making this futuristic vision a reality. Picture this. The train glides past a station at hundreds of kilometers per hour, but passengers still seamlessly hop on or disembark without the train ever fully halting. It's like boarding a plane while it's taxiing down the runway, except this is a train on the ground, moving faster than most cars on the highway. You might be asking yourself, how on earth is this even possible? That is exactly the question millions of people around the world are asking as they watch China redefine what high-speed rail can do. This is not just about speed. It's about revolutionizing the way we travel, making journeys faster, more efficient, and more futuristic than ever before. In this video, we're going to take you behind the scenes of this incredible innovation. From the engineering marvels that make it possible to the challenges solved along the way, by the end you'll see why the world is watching China's high-speed rail like never before. Before we dive into the futuristic solution, let's take a step back and look at why traditional high-speed rail isn't as fast as it could be. Most high-speed trains are incredibly quick, often zipping along at 300 to 400 kilometers per hour. But there's a hidden problem. They spend too much time stopping and starting. Think about a route like Beijing West to Shenzhen North. It might sound like a non-stop journey, but along the way, the train hits seven stations. Each stop isn't just a matter of waiting a few minutes. The train has to slow down well before the station, stop, let passengers on and off, then accelerate again. All those pauses add up. In this case, passengers lose over 30 minutes just moving slowly or sitting at stations, almost half an hour of potential high-speed travel wasted. Even if a train could hit 400 kilometers per hour, all that speed doesn't matter much if it keeps stopping. Every time it decelerates and accelerates, fuel efficiency drops, schedules are disrupted, and passengers lose valuable time. This is the core problem that engineers faced. It wasn't about making trains faster, it was about cutting down time lost at stops and transfers. To truly revolutionize rail travel, someone had to rethink the entire system, not just the trains themselves. Now that we understand the problem, it's time for the big reveal. China has developed a non-stop high-speed train system that changes everything about how rail travel works. Imagine boarding a train or transferring to another one without the train ever fully stopping. Sounds impossible? That's exactly what engineers have made possible. It's almost like taking a plane and saying, hey, you can hop on while we're still taxiing down the runway, but on a train moving over 300 kilometers per hour. No waiting, no slowing down unnecessarily, no losing precious minutes. Passengers can seamlessly continue their journey, and the train maintains its high-speed pace. This breakthrough isn't just a minor tweak, it's a complete rethink of efficiency and convenience in rail travel. By solving the problem of station delays, China is setting a new standard for what fast, safe, and high-capacity transport can look like. And this is just the start. Next, we'll see the sheer scale and speed of China's rail network and why eliminating stops could have such a massive impact. To truly appreciate this innovation, you need to understand just how massive China's high-speed rail system is. Stretching nearly 38,000 kilometers, it's the largest and fastest network in the world. That's like circling the Earth almost once, all connected by high-speed tracks. Most trains cruise at over 300 km per hour, and some break the 400 km per hour barrier. To put that in perspective, that's like crossing the length of a football field in just over a second. Incredible speeds like these make high-speed rail one of the fastest ways to travel on land anywhere on the planet. But even with this enormous speed and scale, traditional stopping patterns still limit efficiency. Every pause at a station, Every slowdown and speed up cuts into the time passengers could spend moving at top speed. That's why the idea of non-stop transfers isn't just clever, 
it's necessary. On a network this large, even small improvements in efficiency translate to huge time savings for millions of passengers. Here's where the real engineering tension comes in. The challenge isn't just about how fast a train can go, it's about how to keep trains moving without wasting time at stations. Even if a train hits 400 km per hour, frequent stops eat away the advantage of high-speed travel. Think about it. Slowing down for a station isn't instant. The train begins decelerating well before it reaches the platform, passengers take time to get on and off, and then the train has to accelerate back to full speed. Multiply that by several stations on a long route, and you've already lost dozens of minutes. Add in safety checks and boarding logistics, and the problem becomes even more complex. So, the bottleneck isn't raw speed. It's time lost in the process of stopping and starting. Solving this problem requires more than just faster engines. It demands rethinking how trains, stations, and passengers interact. This sets the stage for the solution that Chinese engineers have pioneered, nonstop transfers. A system designed to slash station delays while keeping passengers safe and comfortable. Now we get to the heart of the innovation detachable transfer modules. These are special pods attached to the main high-speed train that allow passengers to board or disembark without the train ever coming to a full stop. Here's how it works. Before reaching a station, passengers who need to get off enter one of these modules. As the train approaches the station, the module detaches and slows down gently, letting people safely exit or board, while the main train continues at full speed. Afterward, the module can reattach to another train or continue on a slower path, keeping the flow seamless. It's a bit like an airport moving walkway on steroids, but far more complex. At speeds exceeding 300 km per hour, even the tiniest misalignment could be catastrophic, so precision is everything. Every docking and detaching maneuver must be engineered down to the centimeter to ensure passenger safety. This breakthrough turns the dream of non-stop, ultra-efficient rail travel into something tangible. But it's not the only approach. In addition to detachable modules, Chinese engineers are experimenting with another groundbreaking idea called the parallel exchange concept. Instead of slowing down or detaching pods, this system uses shorter trains that run alongside the main high-speed train as it approaches a station. Passengers can transfer between the two trains while both are still moving, creating a seamless, high-speed handoff. Imagine two trains dancing side by side at over 300 km per hour, perfectly synchronized so people can move from one to the other without ever slowing down. The level of precision here is astonishing. Every second, every meter counts. Engineers must coordinate speed, alignment, and stability with millimeter-level accuracy. One small mistake could disrupt the entire process or compromise safety. This approach reinforces the message that China isn't just pushing trains to go faster. It's redefining the entire concept of rail travel, blending innovation, physics, and logistics in ways the world has never seen before. While the trains themselves are astonishing, the tracks they run on are just as critical. At speeds over 300 km per hour, even the slightest imperfection in the rails can cause instability, discomfort, or, well, worse. That's why China's engineers have reinvented track design to match these futuristic trains. First, the tracks need to be incredibly straight. A small curve at these speeds is like trying to drive a car at 200 miles per hour on a winding mountain road, dangerous and uncomfortable. Straight, smooth tracks allow trains to maintain high speed safely. Durability is also key. High speed trains exert massive forces on the rails, so China uses advanced materials and construction techniques that make tracks stronger, longer lasting, and smoother. This reduces wear and tear while improving ride quality. But here's the tricky part. The tracks must also accommodate the complex maneuvers of detachable modules and parallel exchanges. That means rails are engineered not just for speed, but for precision docking, alignment, and stability, ensuring modules or companion trains can interact safely. In short, the tracks aren't just metal on the ground, 
They're a precision instrument, fully integrated with the trains and technology, forming the backbone of China's non-stop high-speed rail system. Getting passengers on and off a train moving over 300 kilometers per hour is no small feat. And safety is the top priority. The margin for error is measured in centimeters, and every system must work flawlessly in real time. To achieve this, China relies on cutting-edge train control technologies. Sensors continuously track the exact position and speed of each train, feeding data into high-speed computers that calculate adjustments instantly. Think of it like an advanced video game where the system constantly predicts and corrects movements to ensure perfect timing. Automatic docking mechanisms handle the physical connection and detachment of transfer modules. These systems must operate without jolts or delays, keeping passengers safe and comfortable throughout the process. On top of that, rigorous safety monitoring is built into every step. Emergency protocols can stop trains immediately if something goes wrong, and every transfer is coordinated with perfect timing down to fractions of a second. This combination of technology, precision, and oversight turns what seems impossible moving transfers at hundreds of kilometers per hour into a working, safe reality. But the challenges don't end with technology. The financial and operational side is equally complex. Building a non-stop high-speed rail system isn't just a technical challenge, it's a massive financial and logistical undertaking. To put it in perspective, China's current high-speed rail network spans nearly 38,000 kilometers, with an average cost of around $150 million per kilometer. Adding detachable modules, advanced track upgrades, and precision control systems would require billions more in investment. But the payoff could be enormous. Cutting down frequent stops means fuel and energy savings, making the system more efficient and environmentally friendly. Time saved for millions of passengers also translates into economic gains, as people and goods move faster, boosting productivity and commerce. On the flip side, managing detachable modules or parallel exchanges adds operational complexity. Precision monitoring, maintenance, and synchronization demand highly trained staff and advanced software systems. It's a delicate balance between upfront investment and long-term efficiency gains. Interestingly, these innovations have inspired public-driven ideas, like modular train cars that can be detached and reassembled on the fly, or futuristic stations designed to handle non-stop transfers. This shows how technology could evolve with creative input from engineers and the public, shaping the future of travel in ways we can only imagine. China's nonstop high-speed rail system isn't just a national marvel. It's drawing attention from the entire world. Countries like Japan and the United States are watching closely, realizing that this innovation could reshape global standards for rail travel. Media outlets are already speculating whether traditional rail powers can keep up with China's technological leap. Beyond prestige, there are tangible global impacts. Medium-distance flights, which are expensive and polluting, could be replaced by ultra-efficient high-speed trains. This would cut carbon emissions, support climate goals, and offer a greener alternative to domestic air travel. Economically, the ripple effects are huge. Developing these advanced trains and infrastructure stimulates industries like manufacturing, software, construction, and robotics. It creates high-tech jobs, drives innovation, and encourages other countries to invest in similar systems, potentially reshaping international transportation networks. In short, this isn't just about faster trains. It's about a more connected, sustainable, and economically vibrant world where people and goods move faster, smarter, and cleaner than ever before. Now imagine a world where high-speed trains never slow down, connecting cities and even countries seamlessly. Journeys that once took hours could become significantly shorter, and the experience would be smooth, efficient, and almost effortless. This future isn't just about convenience. It's about transforming transportation on a global scale. Medium-distance flights could be replaced by high-speed rail, drastically reducing carbon emissions and making travel more environmentally friendly.
Stations and trains could evolve into smart, modular systems with artificial intelligence coordinating transfers, maintenance, and scheduling in real time. The ripple effects extend beyond travel. Faster, more reliable transport strengthens commerce, trade, and economic cooperation, while also creating high-tech jobs in engineering, manufacturing, and software development. Imagine cities interconnected like never before, with goods, people, and ideas flowing seamlessly across regions. China's non-stop high-speed rail offers a glimpse of this future, showing us that the limits of speed, efficiency, and connectivity are constantly being redefined. But the story doesn't end here. There's still room for growth, innovation, and global adoption. We've taken a journey from the dream of non-stop high-speed trains to the cutting-edge engineering, safety systems, and economic planning that make them possible. China's innovation isn't just about going faster. It's about redefining efficiency, sustainability, and connectivity in rail travel. This technology has the potential to reshape daily life, commerce, and the global economy, while also offering a greener alternative to air travel. But even with all these breakthroughs, challenges remain. Precision engineering, massive coordination, and ongoing innovation will be critical before this futuristic system becomes part of everyday life. So here's the big question for you. Would you ride a train that never stops? What other transportation innovations excite you or could change the way we travel? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of transport, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on cutting-edge technology. The future is moving fast, and this is just the beginning.